हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट फोर एंड द फाइनल वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज वेर वाई वी साइन अप यूजिंग ओ टी पी इन जेंगो एंड जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट कोड टू सेंड ओ टी पी एंड देन टेस्ट द प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर दिस वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूज एंड थर्ड पार्टी सर्विस टू सेंड द ओ टी पी टू द यूजर दैट इज दिस टू फैक्टर डॉट इन सो दिस अलाउस मी टू सेंड फ्री एस एम एस सो दैट्स आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस एंड इन दिस वी विल गेट an api key so to use the api key uh, i will use this package so let's get started by installing this package so this has activated my uh, environment so please make sure to activate your environment and then we are going to install this so this is installed and let's uh, first of all create an environment file so i will put it inside this main src so it will be dot env file that is what i am going to name it and then we are going to go to settings dot py to initialize or um, means like to read this file okay so if you go to the uh, this py py page uh, you will see how it is being used so in short i am going to do it over here so we'll start by importing that package so it is called environ so whatever you want to pronounce it as so i am going to like import this and once that import is done we are going to initialize it so env is equal to that package name dot env so the instance is created now let's read the file okay so that is inside this page directory right yes so, so i'm going to read it so and uh, that package name dot e env dot uh, read env okay and then it will take this base directory and wherever whatever the path is that you have to give okay so i'm giving it dot env i mean like it is at this place so that's why this location and after this i will have one uh, variable so i'll call it as sms api underscore key so this will store the key and we'll read it from this file so it will be environment and uh, whatever the key name is so i'm going to name it the same thing and i'll go in env and create this variable okay so uh, now to get this value we are going to go to that website that is two factor dot in register yourself uh, we are allowed to send 50 free sms and then uh, we'll go to once you log in over here we will have to go to this uh, sms otp and go to settings uh, then over here as you can see we have the api key so i will copy this let's go to the projects api key over here and let's go to our views.py okay so since it is a different thing so i'm going to create a new file to send the otp okay so i will call it as utils and that will be inside demo so utils yeah, everything small utils.py and in this we are going to do two two things oh sorry we have to install also one more package that is called a uh, request so pip install request so this will allow us to send uh, a request to that particular website to send uh, send the otp so that's why that so i'm going to import that package so it is called requests then uh, from django.conf dot uh, conf import the settings because in settings uh, we have declared our api key so that we will use over here and i will create the function now so it will be called def send so he send otp and this will take in mobile number and otp okay and after that we are going to create url so everything over here is done through url because it is a get request so i will use f string and the url is https uh, in the documents you all can find this i have copied this uh, url and kept it for for doing it quickly or in the video so two factor dot in slash api slash v1 slash then over here we have to put our api key so that will come from settings dot whatever the variable name we have declared over here setting so this is that then i have to send sms so that's why sms and then uh, to the user so it will be the mobile number then i am going to type in the otp so this is what will be sent in the message and like they have told to put some message over here but i'm i never received this message so anyways let's put this your otp is okay after this we are going to create two more variables one is called payload so this will be blank since it is a get request so it will not have any data 
and then headers headers will be uh, in this we have to declare the content type so content dash type and this is application slash x www dash form url encoded basically url and coded okay and then we are going to send the request so i'm going to take a response and it will be taking a request dot uh, get and to the url with uh, data equal to payload because payload is blank and headers will be the headers which we declared on top so this is the request means once it reaches over here sms will be sent from their server we are sending a request to their server and then they will do the processing and send the message and then i'm going to return from here bool of response Hi, sorry it is response not request response dot ok so basically over here in the send otp function i am receiving mobile number and otp then we are creating a url to this uh, this is the url and then we are passing in that api key mobile number and otp and payload will be blank headers is form url encoded and in this one we are going to i mean like over here then uh, we send a uh, get request and server does everything of sending sms and then we did return uh, boolean response of response dot okay whether the response what we got is okay or not that is status of 200 so it will return that and then uh, then we'll not do anything basically we assume that we have sent the sms okay so let's copy this and wherever required we will uh, call this function so i remember i have done a kudu everywhere so i'll put over there so send otp oh, what is the mobile number so it will come from instance dot mobile number basically uh, let me do this import okay so i will do a quick fix so import is done if you check over here so from django.utils import send otp taking advantage of vs code features and let me verify whether this is phone number or mobile or something else this is phone number not mobile so it will be instance dot phone number so over here it is done uh, let me copy and i remember in register that is in serializers we have one more thing so i will put it over here here it will come from phone number not phone number it is from validated data so i'm going to copy paste it over here and then we already have otp over here so that is taken care of and let me quickly import this again and if you note in views.py also we have otp so our code to send otp is ready so project is finally done let's test it let me clear the screen and python manage.py oh, i'm at the wrong place let's see the source python manage.py uh, before that we have to migrate right so python manage.py make migrations uh, something is wrong in the serializer let me check it on line number 16 it is as you can see so let's go to line number 16 oh i forgot to put a comma over here so comma will be present and i think that is good to go so let me run yes make migration migrations are done and let's uh migrate it then so python manage.py migrate our migration is also done now let's run the server so python manage.py run server uh before that let's register user so that i can show y'all so it will be python manage.py create super user i will put some dummy phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and some random password <laughs> admin, admin so yes then let's run the server so python manage.py run server and i think i haven't registered the model in admins.py so let's register it over here so admin dot site dot register uh, register the model so we will have to import model so from dot models import user model and i'm going to register it in this save it uh, let's go to this we'll actually log in as admin and verify it so as you can see over here this is the model that is available users model and if you go inside this there is only one user that is super admin and this got activated because of this user manager that we created in the models so to like create super user we pass in phone number and password and then it creates user for me first um, because i have called this fun method and then it activates my user and makes it as staff user and super user 
so that's why we were able to log in successfully now let's create a user and uh, try to generate otp for more than three times now in order to test we'll go to this thunder client i have made this request already so let's hit them one by one okay so first of all i'll register a user so we are going to use some dummy number over here and dummy email and for, uh, we are going to register the user so i'll click on send a request and this is the request data that i'm sending for number email and then repeat passwords means uh, password one password two so i'm going to click on send Mm, something happened so let me go in the users model and check model and unexpected keyword oh it is in serializer so, yeah. so i made a spelling mistake over here so it is try spelling this is in serializers.py so let me actually it got reloaded so i'm going to go again to the thunder client miss this request and send one request so this user got registered 201 created now we'll go to the admin panel refresh this page and yes there we go a user is created as you can see the super user status is not there and user is not active and not it's stuck so that means user won't be allowed to log into our site yet so for this user will have to verify the otp assuming now let's test our scenarios okay so assuming that user have not received the otp we are going to regenerate the otp right so and if you check over your max otp try is three times so i'm going to go to regenerate otp and i'm going to send a patch request to the server uh, with our user ID that is one and uh, this is a regenerated OTP endpoint Okay, so just to show you all in views.py This is the regenerated OTP method that I have created. So this is what is going to hit now I'm going to click on send Successfully regenerated the new OTP and if we go to the admin side and refresh this page Okay, let me retry once uh, this is not getting tracked. Let me check what happened. Hey guys, so finally I found the issue. Uh, there are two issues actually. So one is in the uh, on the line number 63 over here in time delta hours is hour is mentioned. It is hours, so that will fix quickly. Yeah, and that is done. And in regenerate OTP we have to send the ID number two. I noticed this because. Uh, if you see uh, we registered the admin user first so admin users id is one and so that's why uh, over here this was getting subtracted so let me reset this and save and we'll go to 777 user and if you see over here he, this guy's uh, user id is two so we have to use id number two over there so let's change that to two yes i've changed and over here also i'll change and save it so now we'll regenerate the odp click on send and regenerated otp successfully so if we refresh it this got reduced to two right and if i click on again on regenerate otp it will be reduced to one so user is now allowed to request only once and if we refresh zero times okay and now if we click on send see we get an error 400 bad request max otp try is reached try after an hour so this is what uh, error uh, should be written that is correct and if we refresh over here as you can see max otp try is zero and otp max out time is this much so this is in utc so that's why this time you can see but uh, as you can see it is set over here right so just to test it i will change this i will make this as eight to like try our scenarios okay and if i click on request now it should send me uh, an otp and this will be reset to three correct so now i will try to verify this user and the otp is 8952 before that we have achieved our goal of this video that is like to uh, uh, restrict the user to send otp only certain number of times that is three over here and allowing a cool time time of uh, whatever we sp uh, specified over here we have specified it to be one hour so let's verify this user and see if user gets activated or not uh, i'm going to put the otp over here this is also patch request a user slash id verify otp click on send and successfully verified the user 
if i click on refresh as you can see is staff is made act to be active otp max out time is gone otp expiry is gone so that means we were successfully able to activate the user and now let's try it one more <laughs> like uh, if user tries to activate by using the same otp if i click on send otp a um, miss verify otp we get bad request and user is active or oh, please enter the correct otp so that is correct because uh, the same user should not use the same otp to reactivate himself right so that's why this is there so that's it for this video series guys thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share see you in the next one